<laughs> and one of the things that I sort of um, would, would say to you, particularly, really everybody, but particularly I think the students uh, in this audience, is, is hopefully one of the things that you would walk away from this, from this lecture is the notion that we actually know very little about the diversity of microorganisms in humans, right? If I can go out and spend two years at a field site in Central Africa and double the number of known human retroviruses, that means we don't know enough. If we don't know about the origin of malaria, one of the imp most important uh, parasites of human history, we don't know enough. And the answer, the real reality is we live in a world which is much more like the world of the 19th century when you had natural historians like Wallace and Darwin. That's the world that we live in. So while, while I'm a big advocate of hypothesis-driven research, I am actually at the end of the day a field biologist. And one of the things I would say to you is you can still do exploration on this world. Okay, you're not gonna find new primates out there. Maybe you will, but you may take your whole life doing it. But I'll tell you what, if you're looking for new viruses or new bacteria, you can find it on your skin, on your gut, you know, in an animal in the forest, you can find lots of these things. And these are gonna be incredibly useful, not only for the sort of low-hanging fruit, which is gonna help us to stop the things that are incredibly deadly for us, but they're gonna help us to do positive things. They're gonna help us to find unknown causes of cancer. They're gonna help us to um, change our own metabolism. They're gonna have really incredible potential for us to alter our worlds. And so I would definitely encourage people um, you know, who are thinking about it to really think carefully about microbiology.